All right, so this is a pepper review for the Fresno pepper. The first year growing it, never grew this variety before. Do not know if it's hot or sweet. I'm assuming it's got some kind of heat. But here it is in the back if I could get to it, and it is a tough one. All right, you see, you see these red ones back here? That's the Fresno pepper. And so we're gonna taste test one of these. Now, plant profile. It's got a waxy smooth green stem. Okay, there's no purpling in it. It might get some purpling at the nodes if you put it in the sunlight. The leaf is a regular leaf type. Nothing special about it. And that's basically it. There's not much more to cover on it. I do not have any flowers on it to show you. The flowers, I usually like to try to show the flowers, but there's nothing available at this time. You see, I'm moving it in the back over here. That's it, that's your Fresno pepper. Now this plant will get much bigger if you don't grow it as tight as I did. I grow them this tight because they don't have room and they grow pretty good together. So let's cut a few of these off and do a taste test. Now, I don't know if they're hot, but the way things have been lately, everything's been hot. So, anyway, here it is. Now, it's a very small version of a carrot pepper. Carrot pepper meaning it's shaped like a carrot. Uh, what kind of peppers are carrot peppers? The, the uh, Carmen peppers, a carrot pepper. Um, we just did a, a pepper review on the marisol pepper that's a carrot pepper shape like this and it's also an upright pepper so these grow upwards now that's pretty big that's a pretty big pepper to grow in an upright position so that's it right there and let's turn you around give it a give it a taste test all right so here we are and this is the fresno pepper that's what it looks like. I'll give it, try to give you a close-up look. It's an upright pepper, and I do not know if it's hot. So let's get right into it. Fresno pepper going in. Well, let's go over the flavor first. It's a little bit tangy. It's a kind of a pepper that makes you want to sneeze. Um, it does have a nice pepper flavor to it, but that tanginess is stronger. It's stronger. It's pretty strong. It could just be that it, it's this year, but it has a tangier than normal for a pepper flavor. It's not a sweet pepper. This thing actually does have a little heat on it. Right now, the heat is probably about the heat of a poblano or maybe a maybe a, a, a you know higher end heat of a uh, pepperoncini but it does have heat now as I go up the pepper that heat is probably going to increase the type of heat that it is it's kind of just heating up the whole inside of my mouth evenly but very soft very light very soft no throbbing no pulsating heat it's very mellow but there is heat on it, and it is—it's the kind of a—it's the kind of heat that affects your lips. Well, like I say, it has a—it has a kind of a, a funny flavor to it. It really does. It has a kind of a funny flavor. I maybe if I let it sit on there for another month and let it fully turn red, or it is pretty red, but it—it it just has a kind of a funny flavor. Um, I don't know what to equate it with. It's tangy is the one thing, but the other thing is it has like a, there's capsaicin flavors. There, I usually refer to it as soap, but there's other flavors that are in that capsaicin that are like that soap effect, but don't taste like soap. This one was a capsaicin, didn't taste like soap, but it would taste like something else. Another part of the capsaicin. And I could taste that in there pretty strong. I don't know what part of the cat, but it, it was something like that. Was it a perfumey flavor or nothing? It was just a weird flavor. 
It wasn't bad or anything. It was just strange. Different effect than normal. Now, the heat is picked up. The heat is definitely picked up. I'm going to put that heat over 1,000. Probably, I would say the heat is probably between 1,500 and possibly as hot as 3,000 on the Scoville. That, it's something like that. It's pretty hot. It's My whole tongue is warm. It's a weird kind of a heat. It's a very warm effect going all the way back close to the where the end of your tongue is, the very back part. Close to that, but it doesn't quite go back that far. My lips are on fire. My stomach is a little uh, affected by it a little bit. Even though the heat ain't that bad, my stomach is like, it's like shaky a little bit. It's a, It struck my stomach a little weird. It's like my stomach is like, I don't know if I like this, you know. It's a little strange. For a pepper normally that don't get that hot, normally don't affect my stomach, but this one is. It's not making me sick, it's just my stomach is like jittery from it. It's got a potency to it. It definitely has some kind of potency to it. But it's very different in, in a lot of ways. It's not like eating a buccalochia in any way, shape, and form. It's not like eating a jalapeno. Jalapenos don't even do that to my stomach. So it's, it's different in that sense with the heat, but I'm going to say it's up there between 1,500 and 3,000 as far as the heat goes. It's definitely got some heat on it. It's got a strange flavor. Would I grow it again? Yeah, I'd grow it again. It wouldn't be like the first thing I'd want to go and, and pick out of my garden per se, but yeah, I'd probably grow it again. Uh, you know, I'm not crazy about it, but it's all right. I grow it for the seeds more or less, to be honest with you. That way I can or for the seeds online, but I mean, I grow so many peppers that I go to peppers that I, I really want to eat, you know, and this one, it's okay, but the flavor was a little off for me. It didn't taste bad, it didn't taste bad, but when I go for a pepper and a flavor, I try to imagine in my head what kind of a dish I would cook it in. It's kind of hard for me to place this one. I guess pickling it would be good, drying it out would probably be pretty good. You could try barbecuing it and cooking it with meats and see where it goes. It's hard to say. But the tangy flavor kind of puts it into a different category, for me anyway, as far as cooking. But that's it. That's your review for your Fresno pepper. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.